Year 1974. English Teams Caribbean Tour. England managed to draw the series one all. This series was marked as the goodbye series for West Indies legend Gary Sobers. The gentle defensive stroke, first couple of balls of the over, and then that really classic off drive. Got it away there, just through the extra cover position. Ah, oh, this placement. Just rolling the wrist a little bit on that one so that it went fine. Beautiful shot again, four runs all the way. Good cricket there by this master cricketer who have been looking at this offside field. Knew how difficult it was going to be to pierce. And a beautiful straight drive, Big Fletcher goes through for four. Brings up the 400. What a wonderful shot from Gary So. Series draw forces Caribbean skipper Rohan Kenhai to leave the leadership role in his position along with Sobers. He captained West Indies team for 11 games after Sobers stepped down from his captaincy. Lloyd is the correct man for the job and he played 36 games till date and scored 2,282 runs with three centuries and eight fifties. Clive Lloyd was nominated as the new captain for West Indies. His first task is to lead West Indies team in ISA. From 1974 November till January 1975, he had to play five test games in India, then travelling to Sri Lanka to play three first-class games and two test series in Pakistan to complete the tour. Lloyd celebrates his first test as a captain by scoring 163 runs in the first game. Series went toe-to-toe -to -toe and finally West Indies won the series 3-2. Gundup Pavisvanath scored 558 for India and Beatty, Prasanna took 15 wickets each. Skipper Lloyd leads from the front by scoring 636 runs and Andy Roberts took 32 wickets in the series. Bindis ne badhiya shuruaat ki, Greenish thokne ke mood mein, aur Chandra ki gain par unhone shandar chhakka lagaya. Reddicks, 104 run Bedi ki game pair, Solkar dwara caught. Bharat ne 404 run banane ka namumkin kaam shuru kiya, aur wo bhi chauthi bari mein. Engineer ne is bar bhi laddu banaya. Gavaskar ne keval 8 run banaye. एक बार जिम्मेदारी फिर विश्वनाथ पर होल्डर की शानदार गेंद और विश्वनाथ सत्रह पर आउट होल्डर सोलकर को और वे एल बी डब्ल्यू भारत पर भारी आफर गायकवाड़ ने डटकर मुकाबला किया होल्डर चंद्रा को और भारत ऑल आउट 202 पर होल्डर ने इस पारी में 6 विकेट लिए वेस्ट इंडीज 201 रन से जीत गई इस टेस्ट श्रृंखला में भले ही हम हार गए मगर हार ही जीतने का हौसला देती है Team Sri Lanka not having full membership status till date. They were in front line to knocking the test status door. Due to this situation, they were not given much opportunities with international full member teams. 
even the playing series marked as unofficial first-class games. So, they were given opportunity to play against Pakistan in March 1974 as an overseas series. Sri Lanka played seven practice games and two unofficial four-day test games with Pakistan in the series. Sri Lanka won two practice games and lost only the 35-over game and Pakistan won the four-day test series 1-0. Warnapur is 92, Jayantha Senavirathni is not out 98, Opath is 6 for 91 and Ajith De Silva is 5 for 76 are the series memories. This is West Indies' third tour to Sri Lanka. They travel to Sri Lanka in 1948, 49, and 1966, 67 before this series. Sobers captained the series. Clive Lloyd, Derek Murray played in that game and Lloyd scored 138 in the game. In this series with Lloyd they have batting lineup including experienced players like, Roy Fredericks, Alvin Kalacharan. Young batting star, Viv Richards was found out in the Indian series. In addition to that they have Len Bayachan and David Murray to strengthen the middle order. Derek Murray to keep wickets. All-rounders like Bernard Julian and Keith Boyce. Medium pace man Van Bern Holder and newest edition pace man Andy Roberts. And two spinners El Quimito Willett and Albert Padmar. West Indies mostly having young blood and they eager to come back to dominate international cricket like they used to do in late 50s till late 60s. Tour consists of three games. Both teams will play two three-day games at Colombo. First game will play from February 3rd to 5th and the second game will play on February 7th till 9th. There will be 55 over limited games scheduled to play on February 11th. Since Sri Lanka in half status of ICC all three matches were marked as unofficial games. Sri Lankan selectors decided to go with Anura Tenakun as the skipper. They include three openers into the series. Ranjith Fernando was giving the responsibility as the opener as well as the wicket keeper of the squad. He made his debut against Marylebone Cricket Club in 1969. Since then, he played five unofficial tests for Sri Lanka. Saidath was a new addition to the squad and he is the younger brother of Sunil Wedamuni. He is 18 years old. Opening batsman Sunil made his debut against Marylebone Cricket Club in 1970. Since then, he played five games. Skipper Anura the Nikun was a Sloyd Piler in Sri Lankan middle order. He played his first game for Sri Lanka in 1966 against Pakistan. Since then he played 11 games for Sri Lanka and captaining the side since 1974. Stylish player Michael Tissera was the former captain and most experienced Sri Lankan player. He made his debut against MCC in 1962. In his next game he was appointed as the captain, that was 1964. Till date he played 11 games. He was away from the national squad since 1974 and this is his comeback series. Solid middle order player and sharp fielder David Heen playing Sri Lanka since 1966. Till today he played 9 games. Youngster Duliap Mendes made his debut in 1972 against Pakistan. He is an aggressive batsman and played 4 unofficial tests for Sri Lanka. Jayantha Senaviratni played 3 games since 1974. 22 years old Roy Dias not played any unofficial tests for Sri Lanka so far and he is a promising batsman for Sri Lankan future. Sri Lankan selectors choose four medium pace men for the series. Out of them, Anura Ranazing he was a genuine all-rounder. He has not played a game for Sri Lanka yet. Mevan Puris made his debut against Marylebone Cricket Club in 1970 and played four games thus far. Tony Opatha will be the opening bowler for Sri Lanka. He played his first game against India in 1974 and played four games so far. Dennis Shanmugam, younger brother of former cricketer Neil Shanmugam played as an all-rounder. He made his debut last year against Pakistan and played just one game so far. From the spinning department Sri Lanka introduced three players. Lalith Kalyuparuma playing as a off-break bowler. He played his first game against India in 1974 and played two matches till today. So much Andra De Silva bowling leg break Googlers. He made his debut against Pakistan in 1972. And played five games till today. After the last Pakistan series Sri Lanka made some changes. Bandula Warnapura, Shrithran Jagunathan, Ujit De Silva, Gajan Pathamanathan, and called Sidat Wedamuni, Michael Tissera, Roy Dias, Anura Rane Zinghi, Mevan Puris, Lalith Kalyuparuma to the side. During this period Sri Lanka not having TV coverage. So, Sri Lanka Broadcasting Cooperation get the responsibility to their shoulders and air the series to close the game to the spectators island-wide. Premasera Eposinghi, 
Palitha Pereira are two pioneer cricket announcers during that time period. Having said that, most live footages of this documentary has been taken from recent West Indies tour in India. So, the stage is set to play the first unofficial three-day test game. Match is set to play from February 3rd till 5th at Colombo. Team Sri Lanka put up a solid team. Ranjith Fernando to keep the wickets addition to his opening batsman slot. Young Sidath made his way to make his debut for Sri Lanka. Followed by three experienced players, Skipper Anura, Tisara, and Heen. Tisara joined side after some time. Then they have youngster Duliap and another debutant Anura Rane Zinghi. Mevin and Tony to handle new ball followed by two spinners, Soma Chandra and Kalyuparuma. West Indies team is planned to walk to the pitch with upper hand. Roy Fredericks and Len Bayachin to open the innings. Then they have strong batting lineup consists of Viv, David, and Skipper Lloyd. Vice-Captain Murray next to keep wickets followed by all-rounder boys. Then they have two spinners, Willett, and Padmar and two pace man Holder and Roberts. Sri Lanka batted first and was able to score 205 runs in their first innings. Debutant Sidath goes for seven followed by skipper Anura for a duck. Ranjith and Michael built 56 runs partnership for the third wicket. After Ranjith departs, Michael and David lift the score till 111 by adding further 36 runs to the fourth wicket. After Tisara goes, Sri Lankan wickets start falling and they were 9 for 165 at one stage. Last pair, Tony and Lalith put much needed 40 for the last wicket to bring up Sri Lankan total to 205. David Heen played a super innings of 55, the only 50 in the innings. West Indies paceman, Andy Roberts, continues his form by taking 4 wickets for 18, like the way he did in India in the last tour. 20. Here's Roberts to Patoudi, and he's out leg before for four. India 85 for four. Patoudi not very happy with this decision. Prasanna and Vishwanath see the second day through. Roberts to Vishwanath. And he's out, caught at the wicket by Murray for 46. West Indies loses their opener, Len when the scores were at 18. But Fredericks played master innings of 84 and he helped Viv to go break free. David Murray goes for a duck but Lloyd and Murray help Richards to build the innings by scoring 50 and 65 respectively. Finally in 97.4 overs, West Indies able to score 427 runs losing 9 wickets. D.S. De Silva did a good job with his leg breaks and took 5 wickets for 105 runs. Opening bowler, Mevin took 3 for 69. Star of the innings was Viv. He scored the 8th century from a West Indies player against Sri Lanka in Sri Lankan soil. Like fellow Antiguan, Andy Roberts, he maintains his rhythm from Indian series to here and scored 151 runs. Richards joins Kalichar. Richards has some anxious moments against spin. Richards finds his touch. Richards goes on and on, unperturbed. At the close of the second day, with 118 and 36. The next day, they continue in the same vein. Sri Lanka starts their second innings with 222 runs behind. Sidath goes for 20, then Ranjith and skipper Anura put up 95 runs for the second wicket. Unfortunately, Ranjith goes just two runs short to his 50. Anura Tanakun played a master innings of 62 with the help of Sri Lankan middle order. Michael scored 10, Hain 14, and Duliap 12. Debutant all-rounder, Anura Ranazing he scored 21. And at stumps of the third day, Sri Lanka able to score 222 for 8 wickets and match ended up in a draw. Van Burn Holder was the star of the innings with a ball and he took 4 wickets for 42.
होल्डर की शानदार गेंद और विश्वनाथ सत्रह पर आउट होल्डर सोलकर को और वे एल बी डब्ल्यू भारत होल्डर प्रसन्ना को होल्डर को तीसरा विकेट मिला घावरी केवल एक रन पर उड़ गए होल्डर को चौथा विकेट मिला होल्डर चंद्रा को और भारत ऑल आउट 202 सौ दो पर After a day's break, second unofficial 3-day test game started. Match is set to play from February 7th till 9th at Colombo. Sri Lanka thought to go with the same team with one replacement. Selectors decided to bring Jayanth Sen of Irathni instead of aggressive hitting youngster Dilip Mendes into the playing 11. West Indies made two changes. They rested their vice captain Derek Murray and inform bowler Andy Roberts in this game. Stylish aggressive left-hand batsman Alvin Kalacharan brought to the side and to fill Andy's bowling slot. They brought all-rounder Bernard Julian to the squad. David Murray was appointed as the wicketkeeper. West Indies bat first but Sri Lanka made early breakthroughs. Inform players Fredericks, Richards, Lloyd and Murray got themselves out in single-digit scores. Kalacharan got out for 11. So, at a point great West Indies were 5 for 40. mainly due to Tony Opatha with his four wickets spell. At this point Julian joined with Bayachan and put much needed 67 runs for the sixth wicket. They both collapse when the scoreboards shows 107. Soon after that they totally collapse for 119 runs. This is the lowest team total they scored against Sri Lanka. Opatha and Soma Chandra dominate the bowling and each of them took four wickets. Bernard Julian scored 43 as the highest scorer. Venkat now to Julian. Forty-five. Julian skies Prasanna to Bedi, and it's seven down for three hundred and twenty. Sri Lanka came strong in batting as well. First wicket falls at twenty-three, but Ranjith and Anura build up one hundred and thirteen for the second wicket. Ranjith scored fifty-one. After his departure, Sri Lankan wickets starts falling in regular intervals. Skipper Anura Tenakun fights alone, and he scored a magnificent one hundred and one, a real captain's knock. It was second Sri Lankan hundred against West Indies in these unofficial games and first from a captain. Due to collapse in the middle order, Sri Lanka were eight for 232 at a time. Per Sri Lankan tail able to lift the score to 305. That is a 186 score advance in the first innings. Julian, Holder, and Willett took two wickets each, and Boyce took three wickets. Gavaskar is not able to withdraw his bat from a Boyce late outswinger and is snapped up by Murray. But at 25, Boyce has him tickling one to Murray. West Indies walks to the pitch in attacking mode. Opening batsman Fredericks starts hitting all over the park. He and Bayachan lay the foundation for West Indies innings by putting 127 for the first wicket. Richards find his form again by hitting 77. Julian scored another 40. But their tail was totally confused by Sri Lankan spinners. Part timer Michael Tissera took 3 wickets and star of the show. DS De Silva took 6 wickets for 117 and marked 10 wickets in the game. One of the best bowling performances by a Sri Lankan leg spinner and best ever performance by a Sri Lankan against opponents. Roy Fredericks finds his form like an Indian tour and he scored 102 in this innings. West Indies ki taraf se Fred Dix aur Greenish ne khelna shuru kiya. Reddicks, 104 रन बनाकर बेदी की गेंद पर सोलकर द्वारा कॉल श्री लंका नीडेड वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन रन टू विन बट दे हैव जस्ट फाइव ओवर टू बैट इवन इन द स्मॉल रूम दे थॉट टू ट्राई देर लक बट लॉस्ट टू अटैकर्स जयंत एंड एनयूर ड्यूरिंग द एफर्ट फाइनली मैच एंडेड अप इन अ ड्रॉ Sri Lanka able to score just 13 losing 2 wickets. Both wickets were taken by Boyce. 
It was a draw but there are lots of positives in favor of Sri Lanka in this game. Just one day's gap both teams gathered in Colombo again to play the final game of the series. The only unofficial one day international scheduled to play on February 11th. The match was scheduled as 55 overs per side game and Sinhalese Sports Club ground was selected as the venue. Sri Lanka made four changes from the last three-day game. They rested Ranjith Fernando, Saidath Wedamuni, Michael Tissera, and Lalith Kalyuparuma from this game. Instead, the called Saidath as elder brother and attacking opening batsman Sunil Wedamuni to open the innings along with young stylish right-hand batsman Roy Dias. Attacking middle-order batsman Dulyab Mendes called to the side with all-rounder Dennis Shanmagam. Jayantha Senavirathna was appointed as the wicket-keeper. Team West Indies made two changes. They rested their spin bowler El Quimito Willett and the pace man Venburn Holder. And call upon their vice-captain, Derek Murray to his keeping position. And Andy Roberts was called back to the side. Sri Lanka not made a good start. They lost their first three wickets at 32. Dios and Heen goes for Ducks and Skipper Anura scored just five. Two Sri Lankan attacking players, Sunil and Duliap joined for the fourth wicket and put up 102 runs to help Sri Lankan team to come out of danger. But at 134 on the board Sunil fall for Robert off 69 and adding another six runs to the total Duliap ran out for 75 when the scoreboard shows 140. Sri Lankan wickets starts falling in regular intervals and in 50.3 overs, they all out for 183 runs. Just three double digits scores in the board. Boyce took three wickets and Richard took two. But Roberts showcase another remarkable spell and he took two wickets for 14 in nine overs. Roberts in slow motion to Abid. Roberts to new batsman Winkert and he's bowled him leg stump. Roy Fredericks made an explosive start. But Opatha bowled him out for 20. Bayachan and Kalacharan put easy 106 runs for the second wicket and Kalacharan goes for 67 to Perry's. Richard joined Bayachan and played till the end. That gives easy 8 wicket win for the West Indies in 43.2 overs. Len Bayachan scored 75 not out. But Alvin Kalacharan's 67 made the victory easy for them. Kalacharan has come in place of Fredericks who retired hurt. Fredericks tried to swing Chandra out of the ground and sprained an ankle. Wickets fall at one end, but Kalicharan proceeds to his century as though nothing has happened. Now let's see quick review on records. Compared to previous series, West Indies had some hard time. They not being able to come close to any of their previous totals. In fact they bowled out for 119 in one game this time. Still 549 for 8 in 1967 is their best total. On the other hand, Sri Lanka managed to score one 300 plus total and two 200 plus innings. 400 in the 1967 game is still Sri Lanka's best. Viv Richards came inches close to break Basil Butcher's 152 in the series but finally missed by a run. In addition to Richard, Roy Fredericks scored a ton, an increased number of West Indies centuries here to nine. Out of that four scored in 1949 series, three in 1967 series and two in current series. Alan Ray scored twice. Anura Tanakun added one from Sri Lankan side. Yet, Sri Lankan record still belongs to Mahesha Rodrigo. Not a single five wicket spell from West Indies this time. Twice they reached a four wicket spells but none were able to convert to 5-4. Fast bowler Pryor Jones still holding the record with his spell of 6 for 23 and medium pace man John Trim holding the second best position. On the other hand, D.S. De Silva was having a great series. He took 15 wickets in the series with two 5 for spells. That wraps the series. Soon after this game West Indies leave to Pakistan to play test series. Sri Lanka as an associate nation show some good progress against mighty West Indies. First ever one day World Cup just around the corner in England. Let's see how this Lion Cubs make their appearance in our upcoming episode.